Hey guys, first of all, we're going to start off with my Saw Para 249 uh, drum mag. Basically, this thing holds 2,500 rounds and it is electric fed. So when you hit the button on the bottom, it has a sound activation. When it's full, it will self click off. Now, this is a great mag for your support gun because it continuously feeds as you lay down full auto fire. The downside is this box mag does not always keep up with the rate of fire that the saw goes due to upgrades. That's a personal preference thing. But for the guys who run RPKs like Colin or other guys that run them for Milsom, um, this is basically what he runs. This is an AK box mag or drum mag is how we refer to it. And again, it's electric. When you hit the button, it self winds and continuous feed on the gun. So basically, if you sit there, hold the gun on full auto, that's as fast it will, it will feed. Now, this is our M4 box mag, okay? This is not what we use for Milsom, just because we like using real caps or mid caps, which we'll get to later in the video. But again, this has an electric feature, including a sound feature, has a button in here. Once you click it, it's now on. When you fire, it feeds and this will hold 1500 rounds now i'm just saying all of these are electric mags all of which take different batteries one can take a nine volt all the way up to a triple a volt it depends on what brand you buy and what manufacturer so that's just high cap slash box mags and electric mags now we're going to move on to stanag mags or standard m4 mags now this is probably the most popular form of mag that you see in an airsoft game or generally on any field so first of all when you buy your gun usually it comes with a high cap mag a little wheel on the bottom you wind it up that self feeds up the bb's and it usually has a trap door that holds around 400 to 500 bb's some will change depending on what amount you put in here there are some longer m4 mags there are shorter ones so moving on this is one of my favorite high cap mags. This is a Magpul PTS, per, a personal training mag, but this is one of their old style uh, box kind of uh, high cap mag, and it has an auto locking feature on the top, which I like because I had a bad tendency of opening the doors and shaking and everything falls up. Now the downside to running high cap mags is one, you only have as much ammo as you have as the winding goes. And two, you get what we call the craft inner box shake or pepper shaker. When you're running, you hear that. And there's nothing more than a giveaway than you hear somebody walking around shaking like a cracker box. So that's the downside to these. What Colin and I prefer are E-Mags, P-Mags, or even Elite Force Mags. Both of these are mid-cap mags. They're not real cap. So mid cap means they hold more than your standard 30 round clip, which is a real cap. It, these can hold anywhere from 80 all the way up to 140 rounds, depending on what brands you buy. Again, some brands are better than others. Also, these most of them have a quick change lid on or a nice little screw area on the bottom so you can pull out the spring, clean and maintain your mags. Again, less feeding issues. You only have a limited amount of ammo it does mean you go back and load more but at the same token you're not giving away a shaky shake you know here i am come shoot me so that's your stanag mags for m4 but i've got this question a few times what about ak mags colin and i are just starting into liking the ak's because now we're playing a little bit more on the defensive side versus the offensive side and so this is our ak assortment all right First thing we're going to start is with your kind of standard AK mag. And again, this is a high cap with the winding tensioner, but as you can hear, it's again, it's a shaker box. And again, it will give away your position. Um, a lot of guys don't like the fact that you actually have to twist it into the gun, but that's an AK mag for you. They're very reliable once they're put in. However, not all AKs will take these. Um, but before we move on, this is a different type of AK mag, more of a nice curve to it versus the normal standard AK mag. And this is what we call a waffle mag due to the waffling design on it. But again, high cap mag, twister on the bottom. That's what we're going to run on most AKs. However, we do have mid caps and real caps right. for it. Based on uh, the last request, um, this is actually an AKM mag made by Magpool for their AKM Masada. 
Um, this will fit other variants, but you have to be careful because it might not fit all of them. That being said, you're going to come across a lot of different mags on the field, especially with different variants. Basically, we just showed you a small array of mags. Like when you come across a P90, it takes an elongated mag all the way up to a Thompson or an M14. Um, there are adapters available for some of these guns, but not all. So that being said, the adapters most of the time will adapt the current mag to a Stanag or an AK because those are kind of the go-to mags in this sport. So guys, I really hope you enjoy this. Once we're done the editing and throwing this one up, we'll hopefully have a pistol mag one for you. I know that one was also requested, but guys, thank you for watching. You got any questions, please let us know. Talk to you all soon. Guys, um, on a side note, there's a reason why we suggest running AK and M4. Um, since we're mill summers, we really like going to those events. Now, here's the downside if you run a gun that runs a specialty mag. When you start shooting and all of a sudden you go click and you go, oh, I'm out of ammo. And you go, hey buddy, throw me a mag. And they're not running the same gun as you. You're out of the game. You have to go back and reload. Now, if you run a Stan Ag mag or an AK mag, those are the two most popular mags. So you're probably going to be able to bum one of these off your best friend and go, hey, dude, throw me a mag. You throw me a man four mag, slap it in your gun, boom, 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 you're back in the game. That's why we suggest Stan A or AK Mag. Hope you guys enjoy. Hey guys, it's Aaron here from Krampus Airsoft. Don't forget to like. We always need that comment because we want to know what you guys want. Without your comments, we don't do videos. And subscribe. It's two easy clicks. Don't forget, it's Krampus Airsoft. Always play hard, but play safe.